When people think of Vietnam, they usually imagine the endless green rice paddies, or maybe they think about Ha Long Bay and the beautiful rock features that you can see there. But a lot of people probably do not think of beaches, but Vietnam has some incredible beaches, and here's a list of my top five. So starting off this list at number five, we have Muay Na. One of the cool things about Muay Na is you have kind of a two for one special there. You have Muay Na Beach, which to me is a little bit more visually pleasing and relaxing, but then you can go about 40 minutes down the road and you have Fantine, which is a little bit more action style beach. You can do the surfing. I think it's, is it kite surfing? I think that's what it is. They have a lot of wind right in that area and they have it coved off really well. So you kind of get two for one with Muay Na and with the sand dunes and the ocean, you can get some pretty spectacular sunsets as well as you have the ferry stream and the fisherman village. So there's a lot of cool, interesting things to do in Muay Na and that's why it's making the number five spot. Coming in at number four, we have Vung Tao. Now Vung Tao Beach is one that most people probably haven't heard of or rather it's very popular, but mostly just popular within Vietnam. And to be real, Vung Tao isn't really like the most beautiful beach that you will ever see. It doesn't have like crystal clear blue waters or perfectly put together in every way. But to me, that's kind of part of the charm of Vung Tao. It does really feel like somewhere that you can go and sit down with your family and laugh. I actually don't even know if I have a lot of video to show because most of the time I go there, it's just like, hey, this is just a vacation spot for me and my family. But it is absolutely worth seeing. And I've had so many great experiences there. The first time I held my wife's hand was there. I just had to add it to this list and that's why it's coming in at number four. Now coming in at number three is Da Nang and really the top three here could almost be interchangeable so it's, it's hard to necessarily like pick three, two, one. But the reason why Da Nang is on this list at all is because it is incredible. It's a very beautiful, vibrant city. There's a dragon bridge that moves through it that's beautiful. It's modernized, but you also have that beach element. And it's a beach that if you're actually a surfer, you may be even more into because a lot of people can catch some pretty good waves in Da Nang. And I think it's kind of known as far as a Vietnam beach, it's known for being a little bit more on the surfing side. Not only do you have the good waves and the beautiful beach, there's also like rock faces and mountain type scenarios. I mean, it's not like a huge rocky mountains, but there's some mountains off in the distance that you can see. And it's a really cool, I guess, contrast that I'm not used to seeing when I go to a beach. That is why it is at my number three spot. Coming in at number two is Na Chang Beach. Now Na Chang is really, really popular in Vietnam. And it's really a popular destination if you're going to Vietnam in general. A lot of people know about it and have heard about it. And a lot of times if you ask somebody, hey, where do you go for a good beach in Vietnam? Well, that's kind of like the go-to. And if you were to ask me like nine-ish years ago when I went there on my honeymoon, I would have actually told you that it was super overrated and not worth it. Not honeymoons, they're like completely worth it. But like the beach, Natchang Beach, I didn't really like it. And my wife didn't really like it very much either. But recently we had the opportunity to go back with our son and it's really developed in a lot of ways. They've really modernized it. They've cleaned it up a whole lot. And some of the cool things that you also get by going to Nat Chang is it is very family friendly. There's quite a bit to do. You also have the history part of Nat Chang. You had the Champa Kingdom that was a part of Nat Chang. They have some of their huge monuments there. So not only do you get a beautiful beach experience, experience, but you get a great experience overall. And that's why it's at number two. Coming in at number one is Fu Walk. Now the island of Fu Walk actually has multiple beaches, so you will have plenty of options. It is an absolutely stunning place to go. And from what I've seen of it, it's absolutely gorgeous. And the reason I put it that way is because I've only went there one time and the time that we went, 
well, it was during the rainy season. So we only saw a few like hours of a day that was absolutely beautiful. And the other time, well, it was it was raining. So if you go during the right time in Fuwalk, you will absolutely be treated to a beautiful site. My wife has actually been there in the past without me. And she talked about how beautiful it was and couldn't wait for me to go. We just happened to have not so great of an experience as far as weather is concerned there. But from the small experiences that I did see in the beach, as well as my wife's testimony and the other videos that I've seen online, I can 100% say that I am excited to go back and experience it once again. And that is why it is making the number one spot. But that's just my list of the best beaches in Vietnam. Drop in the comment section below and let me know, have you been to some beaches in Vietnam? Which ones would you recommend? And if you are going there, well, which beach are you most excited to see? If you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. And until next time, peace.